Bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent and this is Unité 16, Leçon R. And in this lesson, we will discover together what we call le passé surcomposé. Okay, so le passé surcomposé and we start right now. So in this video, first we will see l'utilisation of le passé surcomposé and then after that we will see la formation. Okay, so first when do we use so l'utilisation and then la formation, how do we construct this passé surcomposé? Okay, so we can start now with l'utilisation. So keep in mind that we will use le passé surcomposé pour exprimer des faits qui se sont passés avant d'autres faits passés exprimés au passé composé. So it may look a bit difficult that way, but then let's say that you want to express something in the past and normally you will use this passé composé form that we've been using and we've been seeing previously. Okay? But then if you want to express some facts that have been happening before these past events, in that case, well, you will use or you should use le passé surcomposé. Well, in, actually, it's not really the case because we've been seeing that we've got this plus que parfait tense, okay? And to be totally honest, yes, the second thing here, this passé surcomposé is nowadays quite rare. So, utilisation assez rare, okay? But then keep in mind that l'utilisation est plus fréquente dans le sud de la France. So if you travel, if you go in the south of France, then they will tend to use it a bit more often. But it is quite rare nowadays because people tend to use this plus que parfait instead of le passé surcomposé. Okay? But anyway, it does exist. Uh, it is used. Okay? So we will see in this video how to make it. Alright? So let's see the timeline. And then let's imagine that this is the present. Okay, so this is now. And then we want to express something in the past. So we will use le passé surcomposé. Sorry, le passé composé here. Okay, and then if you want to, as I said, express something that happened before this passé composé. So it's le passé surcomposé. Okay, so the present, le présent, and then the past, le passé composé, and even before, le passé surcomposé. Okay, so here is an example. Dès qu'il a eu bu son café, il est parti au travail. Okay, so it's a strange sentence maybe, but then let's have a look at it. And the first thing that we should spot here is this a eu bu. And then the second thing is a parti. Okay, so the first thing that we can see here, this a eu bu, okay, it's actually this passé surcomposé form. And then the second form here is the passé composé. Okay, so dès qu'il a eu bu son café, so this thing has been happening before, so he has been drinking his coffee, then Okay, something that happens after, but it's still in the past, okay? Il est parti au travail. Okay, so the first event, okay, au passé surcomposé, and the second event here, au passé composé. So let's see how to make this passé surcomposé. Few examples first. So... First sentence, j'ai mangé au restaurant, it's le passé composé, okay, as we saw, you use whether avoir or être, okay, in most of the cases, you will use avoir, you put that at the present form, and then after that you put this form that we call participe passé, okay, so this is here, le passé composé, okay, so if you want to make le passé surcomposé, so it's an example here, j'ai eu mangé au restaurant. So you can see that the difference between the two, actually this manger form, so the participe passé, this past participle, doesn't change. So no changes here. Ok? 
okay but this is this first part that will change so if you can notice in that case here you get avoir and it's at the present form and if you look carefully here you've got avoir at the passé composé form okay let's take a second example here tu as regardé la télévision okay so exactly the same concept the first sentence here is at the passé composé so you get this avoir at the present tense and then you get here the participe passé tu as regardé la télévision I've got some problems with my mouse, sorry. And then the second sentence, tu as eu regardé la télévision. Okay, so we can see that it's exactly the same situation. We've got this regarder form and it's exactly the same, so you don't really need to bother about that. And it's the first part that will change. Okay, because here for the passé composé, you've got this verb avoir at the present. And here, for this passé surcomposé, well, actually, you've got avoir at the passé composé form. Okay? And it will be exactly the same thing in the last example. But then, I wanted to take a verb, so aller, that will require être, you know, at the passé composé. Okay? So, il est allé au travail. Okay? And in that case, remember exactly the same thing. So, you put être instead of avoir, because that is one of the, these uh, exceptions that will require être to make the passé composé. It is here at the present form. And here, for this passé surcomposé, well, we will see exactly the same thing. We've got aller here, so the participe passé doesn't change. And then this first part here, well, actually, it will be the verb être at the passé composé form. Okay, so I hope it's clear. I know it's a bit difficult at the beginning, but then keep in mind that the way to make this passé composé, it's actually quite simple. So first, you will use this avoir, okay, in most of the cases, of course. And then this avoir should be at the passé composé. Then you will put, as we saw, this participe passé form and you will get your passé surcomposé. Remember, in some cases, as we saw for aller, you will use être, but still, it's exactly the same concept. Être should be at the passé composé form. Then you will put your participe passé, so exactly the same concept, and you will get your passé surcomposé form. Okay, so let's see the exceptions. So we saw that we've got aller. We do have arriver. So aller is to go, arriver, arrive. Descendre, descend or go down. Devenir, to become. Entrer, to come in or to enter. Monter, to go up. Mourir, to die. Naître, to born or be born. Partir, to leave. Rester, to stay. Retourner, to return or to come back. Sortir, to go out. Tomber, to fall and then venir to come. Okay, so remember that all these verbs will require être. Okay, and obviously some verbs will be constructed based on these verbs. Okay, so uh, logically they will also require the verb être. Okay, remember also that, uh, well, the verb as we say, les verbes pronominaux, okay, so the verb that will be constructed with this se in front of them, se regarder, or then it could be s apostrophe if we had a, a vowel, s'appeler, se présenter. So all these verbs, les verbes pronominaux, will also require être for this passé surcomposé form, okay?
So let's see now and let's try to refresh a little bit um, avoir and être at the passé composé because that's the part that we will we'll need to use when we construct this passé sur composé. So avoir at the passé composé goes like that. J'ai eu. Tu as eu. Il and then L <coughs> or on even a eu. Nous avons eu. Vous avez eu. Ils ont eu. Elles ont eu. Okay, so it will be our first part of this passé composé. Uh, sorry, passé surcomposé. And then the second part will be être. So in some cases, as we saw previously. And être goes like that. J'ai été. Tu as été. Il, elle, and then on a été. Nous avons été. Vous avez été. Ils ont été. Elles ont été. Okay, so same thing here. So it will be our first part uh, for the exceptions that we saw uh, previously. Remember that the second part, so we talked about this participe passé form. Well, actually, it will be quite simple for the regular verbs. So the first group of regular verb is the well, or is the group that will include all the verbs ending with a er. Exception is aller, as we saw. But then it's actually quite simple. Have a look at that. You've got the infinitive form here ending with a er. Okay, so this is the basic form of the verb. Okay, you just take this a uh, er away and you will replace it with a uh, accent aigu. And here you get this participe passé form. So parler will become parler. Phonetically it's the same, but then you write it differently. Regarder will become regarder. Okay, same rule. And then aller will become aller. So even if aller doesn't belong to the f this first group of regular verbs, actually when we talk about the construction of this participe passé form, well, it's quite regular as well. So nothing tricky there. The second group, okay, remember the verbs ending with er, okay, but not all of them because it's a common mistake. Not all of them are following these rules because we've got another group of er, er verbs that will belong to the third group, so irregular verbs. But I mean this, actually we're talking in that case about the regular verbs ending with er, okay? And it will be quite simple as well because have a look, you've got the basic form here, choisir, er, okay? And then you just take it away and you replace it with i. So you will get, so choisir will become choisi. Then finir will become fini, unir will become uni. All right. So it's not really difficult. So if we're talking about the regular verbs from the first group here and the second group here, they are quite easy to make if we talk about uh, this participe passé form. Okay. So let's see now the third group. Few exceptions, few categories and subcategories. So, but then connaître will become connu. Okay, voir will become vu, partir, even if it belongs to the third group, well, it's actually quite simple, it will become parti, rire will become ri, écrire will become écrit, dire will become dit, mettre will become mi, prendre will become pris. Okay, so let's see few examples or we'll take that the verb parler so quite regular verb and we'll put that at the passé surcomposé okay so remember we had the first part here so avoir at the passé composé so we've been seeing that and then the second part this participe passé you just put it here j'ai eu parlé tu as eu parlé il elle on a eu parlé nous avons eu parlé. Vous avez eu parlé. Ils ont eu parlé. Elles ont eu parlé. Okay? And you can see that as we are constructing this passé surcomposé form with avoir, 
in all the cases. We will keep this uh, accent aigu here, so we don't put any mark for the feminine or for the plural here, okay? So it will be all the time a here. But then remember that it will behave exactly the same way as all the compound tenses if you use a verb like aller for instance that will require être and not avoir so in that case you will have to put like here the feminine form at the end of your participe passé so remember that a uh, is the mark of the feminine okay so il a été allé but then you don't put anything because it's the masculine so you should put the basic form in that case you've got l okay and then well it's a feminine singular feminine you should put this a uh, at the end of your participe passé phonetically you don't hear it it goes like aller so exactly the same thing as here or the same way so elle a été allée so if we respect the logic then for the masculine plural we should add at the end this s so s is the mark of the of the plural okay so ils ont été allés and then logically as well if we put the feminine and the plural form so l so first we will add a mark of the feminine then s mark of the plural and you will get elles ont été allées so the good news is that phonetically it's aller here, aller, aller, aller. So it's the same. You don't pronounce this uh, final e. Uh, you don't pronounce this final s here. Okay. So it's it's exactly the same. But keep in mind that if you want to write correctly, you should put them. So if we put the full form, j'ai été allé. Okay, with the option of the feminine. Tu as été allé, option of the feminine as well. Il a été allé, so in that case, it's the masculine form. Elle a été allé, and here it's the feminine form. Nous avons été allé, so you put the plural at the, at the end. Vous avez été allé. Ils ont été allé, okay, and in that case, you've got the plural only, so masculine because you, you don't have anything else and then elles ont été allées here you've got the feminine plural so e uh, and s so let's remember how to construct this passé surcomposé well actually the first part and in almost all the cases it will be avoir okay and avoir should be at the passé composé form then you will put your participe passé form as usual for all these compound tenses in french so and you will get this passé surcomposé. Okay? In some cases, as we saw, we can use être, okay? but then the rules stay the same, so it should be at the passé composé. Then you will put your participe passé form and you will get your passé surcomposé. Okay? So keep in mind that it is quite rare nowadays. I mean, to be really honest, it is quite rare, but still that's the way it works. And then if you read, if you hear any passé surcomposé, well, you will know what they are. Okay? So have a great day. Au revoir et à bientôt.